just getting into Veracruz. A long travel trip to get here, hunting after the Mexican Gulf Coast whitetail, the very little known deer species that's recognized in the world. Distance between 100 and 120 yards. Okay. okay. Here's uh, 30 meters, uh, roughly 32 yards. Yeah, yeah. Can I shoot at 100? Yeah. Yeah. All right, vamos a ponerlo a 100 metros. We just got into Veracruz, Mexico, here to hunt the Mexican Gulf Coast whitetail, one of the extremely small ranging subspecies of whitetail. And only two tags a year in this particular area. This is actually the only ones that are open to hunting right now for the Mexican Gulf Coast whitetail. So looking forward to it. It is hot here. It's October at home. It's in the 40s here. It's in the mid 80s. Humidity is, humidity is off the charts. But hunting a extremely small bodied and small antlered whitetail. One of the negs about hunting in this part of the world is we couldn't get a gun permit to bring my gun work. So we're using the, the camp rifle, just gonna check it out at 100 yards here to make sure it's on. Our shooting distances here will be somewhere between 100 and 130 yards. She's good to go. We are ready to go deer hunting now. Coming on? One thing I learned here is you cannot put too much bug spray on. They are bad and will eat you alive.
We gotta talk about some hazard pay. Listen, that is taking care of the mosquitoes for you. It's really tough to get a size perspective on just how big that is. Can you just run out there and put your hand up to that? I'll get right on that. Snake in here this morning. Giant tarantula looking spider thing outside. How far are we from the coast right here? In straight line, 62 kilometers from Veracruz, okay. from where you landed. What was it? Looked like Axis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's the crane out here? Yeah, See, uh, our boundaries, that wall. On the opposite side? Yeah. Okay. And you keep your eye sight on that wall all the way over because all those uh, canyons and uh, the savannas are within the range. Okay. <clears throat> The animals and the birds and everything are just very different from what we have up here. Okay. Now, if you can get inside. Inside, inside here? Yeah. So you can be safe. See, we planted most of the old those trees. Okay. You planted and, them down there even? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can walk. Yeah. And uh, it goes, and it's about this wide, uh -huh. the way down. It takes about one hour to get down and about two days to get up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. This is the ranch. At this moment, we're right here. Okay. Then you see that we have another, another uh, creek in between those two oh. and uh, Palapas. Right about here, mm -hmm. and here's the distribution uh, okay. of the animals. Of where the animals are. Yeah. And 29 years ago, when you purchased this, there were hardly any trees on here. No trees. No trees whatsoever. No trees whatsoever. In, in fact, uh, you could see from uh, from the horse barn and from the palapa, you could see the uh, the light in Veracruz. Oh wow! And then when you bought it, did you bought it with the plan of being? putting the trees back into it and creating yeah. it into the natural habitat? From Right from the beginning, uh, it was uh, thought as uh, meant to be a uh, recovery of uh, nature, mm -hmm. at wildlife and trees and plants, and uh, conservation. Gotcha. You, when you started, how many trees did you plant originally when it was barren ground? Uh, 130,000 of uh, tropical uh, species. Okay, 130,000 tropical species. Yeah, and the rest is natural uh, reforest uh, reforestation. So once, yeah, once you got the trees yeah. planted, then it was mm -hmm. just... And right now on the ranch, you just have two white tail tags a year, right? Yeah, uh, we asked for three for this year. We have three for the last year. Only last year we didn't use one of them. Uh, and we have 21 tags for the white lips. Okay. Mm. Yeah. No, it's gorgeous up here too. Obviously, if we set up today, it's not working. That's the second yard row that's come from behind us. 
Man, that's awesome. Mexican Gulf Coast Whitetail. That is, that is gonna be one of the tougher ones of the deer slam. It just got it done right here. And we hopped out and he actually didn't even go very far. He died right on the hard rock over here. Mexican Gulf Coast Whitetail right here in Veracruz. Obviously, it doesn't look like much, but as rare as these deer are, this is quite an accomplishment. There have only been a handful of these taken in Veracruz, and the surrounding states down here have them, but there's nobody that actually operates for them because of all the drug cartel and activity. It's just not safe enough, so this is a heck of a deer. And to hunt them here in the jungle, it's so tough because the conditions are so tough. We've had rain, we've had just about everything. And they only move when it's sunny, which is odd. Like part of this deer slam is you're learning what different deer species do. And this is one that generally moves only when it's sunny. So we've had overcast almost the whole time we're here and just had really low deer activity until at night. And also like on, on this one, as you look at the bases, like generally me being from Michigan, you look at this and go, it's a spike, it's a year and a half old deer. The bases are actually wide and worn, so just different body sizes. This is probably a two and a half to three and a half year old buck. And one of the problems that they have here, and I can tell on this one, is there's so many ticks here and diseases, they just get covered up. And this one has got ticks all over it. So for a deer to make it past that age is just extremely difficult down here. But man, that is awesome. Mexican Gulf Coast Whitetail right there. Reflecting back on this experience in Mexico, I had a feeling this was going to be a tough hunt, but I had no idea it was going to be this tough. With warm temps and rain every day, it made for tough hunting. But then add in the endless amounts of bugs and an extremely low deer density, and it made for some long and grueling days in the field. The Mexican Gulf Coast Whitetail is a tough animal to chase, but I sure am glad to check number six off my list of 31. Hey everyone, for more information on the North America Deer Slam, make sure to visit markvpeterson.com or visit any of my social channels. Also, check out the Deer Slam maps and each species information at markvpeterson.com.